So here's the trick. The trick is never bend your elbow because the needle does not bend. Oh, snap. So okay. not bend your elbow. So recently I ordered a biological age test from Inside Tracker. They call it Inner Age. Inside Tracker is the same company that Dr. David Sinclair talks about and uses. He helped them develop that test, and I believe he's actually a member of their board of directors, something like that. I've done this test before, and last year I was 51 at the time, and I got my results and it said I was 42. So this year my goal is to get my inner age down to 39, and I've begun working on that. I'm beginning with another test. One of the things that was really cool is I had, I did the mobile blood draw, and I only did that because Arizona is one of the few states now where that's the only option. The drawback is it's more expensive. You have to pay extra for them to come to your house. The upside is that it's definitely more convenient. But I have to say, I'm glad now that that's the only option here because I probably wouldn't have picked it otherwise due to the added expense. But it was a much, much better experience. It's way more personable. I felt a lot more important throughout the entire process. And it may have just been Nurse Mary because uh, she came and she made me feel like, you know, uh, a priority. The other thing too is when I went to the lab, I asked them, is it okay if I film this? And they said, absolutely not. Absolutely no filming whatsoever. <laughs> they were very stern about it. But Nurse Mary, she was like, oh sure, you can film, you can absolutely film this. And then she went out of her way to explain everything step by step. So I wanted to show you what that was like in case you're wondering about that experience and what you might expect from getting a blood draw for a biological age test, at least with Inside Tracker. Hey everyone, this is Mary and she came over to draw my blood today for my biological age test with Inside Tracker. So you've had water this morning? I have. I've had probably about 64 ounces. Okay. Is that enough? That should be good. Good. So we're going to put the tourniquet on. Is okay. there a preference on which one do you like to I have? I like... Uh, That's a lot of blood. A lot so. of blood? <laughs> so, okay, well, let's do my right arm. Did you eat today, Dad? No. I haven't. Let's see what you've got here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tourniquet on, and then I'm just going to have you dangle your arm. Okay, so you're just going to dangle your arm. Oh, okay. So what that does is help you raise the, the vein. Okay. And then let the blood just go into my arm. Sometimes you can feel it. Sometimes you can see, see it. it. See how it's rising? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to put it right here. So here's the trick. The trick is never bend your elbow because the needle does not bend. Oh, snap. So do okay. not bend your elbow. So if you need something, maybe your wallet to Put help. something underneath? Yeah. Because you're videotaping. So that's oh, yeah. That's true. Thank you. Make a fist. Make a fist. Mm -hmm. We're going to clean your area. Okay. We're going to dry the area. So you've got four, five, six vials. So I'm going to leave this on for just a little bit. Okay. Because we've got a lot of vials to do. Okay, you're going to bring your stick. One, two, three. Well, you're pretty good Very at this. slowly open your hand. Open. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, look at that. So you don't really have to Just put a lot of the needle in. It's the very tip of the level of the needle. Oh, I barely even felt that. Good. What really helps is the dangling of the arm. That really helps. And then you have to hold it in place right there, right? I do, and because then we're switch having... switch those? A total of six vowels. Yes. And then this particular type of test that you're having, they're very picky. So they want us to put them in order. So they want all what this is considered a type of tube, which is red mm -hmm. and yellow. Mm -hmm. They want us to draw those blood vials first, which is three of them. And then this one is the fourth one. It's just a red top. And so, that's next. So you have to draw the blood in order? In order. Huh. If they are specific as far as for the labs that they're running, there's a special reason and order of the blood draw. Wow, that's interesting. For the vials. This is like a vacuum cleaner section. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the blood goes into the vial, it's like a vacuum cleaner. It sucks the blood into the vial. Oh, nice. And the blood looks really dark in the vials because it has not hit oxygen. 
So you know when you oh. have a blood draw mm -hmm. or a cut, I'm sorry, and it's bright red? Uh huh. Well, it's because it's hit oxygen. These have not. That's why it's really dark. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So this will take about two, four, four and a half to five, maybe four to six hours for the blood to replace back into your body with all these vials that we've taken. Okay. So that's why it's really important that you eat. Don't exercise in the next four hours to six hours. So anywhere between four to six hours, no exercise. Okay. Keep the Band-Aid on for an hour. And again, approximately six hours for this to be replaced into your body. Very good. Awesome. Thank you. You did amazing. You survived. Well, thanks, Mary. <laughs> I appreciate your help. No problem. So I have to put these in a centrifuge. The centrifuge, I have to make sure that this will coagulate for the next 15 minutes. So I have to wait 15 minutes, wait for it to coagulate, put it in the machine, spin it for another 15 minutes, and then we're going to get the plasma out of these. And that's what the doctors are going to be testing. Okay. So okay. you, and then you have that at like I have in that the here. van or something? I have that here. <laughs> oh, you do? Whoa. Yeah, right here. So in a moment, I'm going to use your outlet. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> So you're going to do that here. That's I'm so cool. I'm going to do that here. Yes, sir. So we are labeling your vials. This one I can't lay down because I have to transfer this oh. plasma into here. So I can't lay it down because I can't allow the red blood cells to touch the serum. Oh, that's what the centrifuge is done. It's separating so it's red separating. blood cells into the serum. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're getting the serum. Oh, cool. I'm trying not to touch the red blood cells that looks like a blood clot from this point of view because it can ruin the test so we've got to be very careful and then we just squeeze it in here and then put the lid back on so that's gonna... why it's crucial to get as much blood as you can. The more blood you get in here, uh -huh. the more of a serum you're going to get so they can test. So they're going to test is really good. Those? This. Oh, wow. This gets disposed. But you see how you can see a little bit of the red blood cells touching the plasma. If you look really closely, mm -hmm. you can actually see the red blood cells. They're, they're floating. Oh, wow. My eyes aren't good enough to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's oh, why it's really you. careful. And then here's the clear one. Yeah. Um, and 24 hours, this gets shipped to Kansas, actually. It goes to Kansas. Okay, so that's where, their, that's where their lab is, I guess, huh? Yes, that's where the lab is. And say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> huh. Piece of cake. Back in the box and in the bag and off to... Kansas. Off to the lab and, and then however long I'll get my results and it'll be good. Yes. My blood has gone off through the mail. Isn't that weird, mailing blood? I just think that's a little bit strange, but cool as well. I checked the FedEx tracking and it did arrive at the lab, so any day now I should get my results. Even though I'm chronologically only one year older, 52, I am suspecting that my biological age probably went up just a little bit. Even though my resting heart rate has gone down, my VO2 max is better, my, I have allowed my diet to waver over the last several months, so I'm suspecting a couple of changes. I don't know if it's going to be dramatic or how, how much different it's going to be, but I will be surprised if it's better than 42. I think it's probably gone up. I'm anxious to see those results. As soon as I do, I will make a video about that and I'll let you know. We'll go over you know, where I stand. We'll go over everything and hopefully it'll be helpful to you. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you next time.